Tesla's going to win level five. They really are. So let's, let's talk about it. You think uh, you're focused on level two uh, currently, currently. We're going to be one to two years behind Tesla getting to level five. Okay. Hey, we're Android, right? We're Android. <laughs> you're Android. Hey, no, I'm just saying once Tesla gets it, we're one to two years behind. Okay. I'm, I'm not making any timeline on when Tesla's going to get right. it. That's right. You did. That's brilliant. So that, that, what do you think about this? The most level four companies are kind of just doing their usual uh, safety driver, doing full autonomy kind of testing. And then Tesla does basically trying to go from lane keeping to full autonomy. What do you think about that approach? How successful would it be? It's a ton better approach because Tesla is gathering data on a scale that none of them are. They're putting real users behind the, uh, behind the wheel of the cars. It's, I think, the only strategy that works, the incremental. Well, so there's a few components to Tesla approach that's that's more than just the incremental. It's what you spoke with is the one is the software. So over the air, air software updates. Necessity. Right. I mean, Waymo had crews have those too. Those aren't. But those no, differentiate them from the automakers. Right. No lane keeping assist systems have, no cars with lane keeping system have that except Tesla. Yeah. And uh, the other one is the data the other direction, which is the ability to query the data. I don't think they're actually collecting as much data as people think, but the ability to turn on collection and turn it off. 